One of the challenges we have when we talk about um, how we uh, have mixed use, here we have a lot of surfers out here doing their surfer thing. We have uh, kelp. We have offshore a lot of very productive reefs. Um, now, not this site, but nearby sites, people have historically harvested that for, um, for kelp, for uses such as in abalone farms, et cetera. And then farther off, we see the energy production. In this case, this is um, a platform that is currently shut in and, and no longer producing oil, but we've had all kinds of energy production. So we have energy going on out there, we have recreation, and then we have endangered species. So right here, we have our, uh, this area that, that's um, uh, cordoned off is an area where we have nesting uh, western snowy plovers. So a bird that used to be very common throughout the entirety of our region of California, uh, now pretty constrained, and constrained for a variety of reasons. Constrained because people come out here and recreate and disturb their habitat. People uh, uh, bring dogs, people bring other uh, native critters, but ones that are predators like crows. Uh, and then we have just absolute, um, like these ladies here aren't doing any problem, but if there weren't these signs up, they might be walking uh, right here. They might be accidentally trampling on the nest. And so if you look here in our video, you probably can't see anything because um, the nests are very, very subtle. The eggs blend in very well, and uh, the chicks generally freeze unless somebody's right on them. So a classic example of a critter that's easily disturbed, and if we don't take significant management efforts, can be, um, can be disturbed and, and we can lose that functioning of the ecosystem. So snowy plovers at Colo Point, all kinds of other challenges at, at, at uh, Colo Point, a great example of the multiple um, different users that want to come to our, uh, to our coastal zone, to our sandy beaches.